You gotta be absolutely kidding me. Really? Really game? You're gonna tempt me like this? Guys, you are looking at, at the best ship in the game. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's <laughs> so see. Oh, I cannot believe this just happened. This is cracked. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely cracked. Undock. This is gonna be worth like 590k, I think. At least. Or 580, 590. It will have like top notch reactor. Six. <laughs> this is the most expensive ship I've seen. 656,000. Hey guys, Stimpo here. Welcome back to another stuff video. So a lot of you guys were asking the process how I got certain ships. So I will rewind it back and start from the very beginning. So this is my permanent hardcore character here, right? This is straight after the prologue. This is the gear that I always run. I'm just gonna drop that. I don't need it. That's the helmet. In terms of weapons, you can see here we got trash, trash, some more trash, and more trash. Right? Ooh, actually, the urban eagle we will need. Uh, we get the urban eagle, right? What else do we have here? Anything else? No. So, remember how I said I do the flight simulator and then I save a character and that's my template that I use for everything. So what you do is you go and do the simulator once and then you, you, have, you keep a separate save file that way if you want to reroll the character you don't have to go through the whole tedious process of doing the flight simulator again. It usually takes about an hour and a half to complete, right? Especially if you're playing on very hard difficulty. Playing on easier and you can complete the simulator from start to finish might take you sooner. I don't do that, so that's why I save a character. So, targeting control here, piloting, boost pack, as you can see there, and the ballistics weapon there. So, the thing with this is if you choose the correct background of your character, which you should say somewhere, uh, does this. So my background is introvert, alien data, bounty hunter. Where is the one that says... Hmm. Wait, never mind. But yeah, it, it, there's one that you can select that comes with um, one point in that, one point in that, and I think one point in that. Anyways, without further ado, let's go and find ourselves a ship. So, right out of the gate here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Toleman, so we can get some weapons once we arm ourselves. I will guide you through the end-to-end -end process, right, of how I find all my ships, whether it's a Vista 3, a Chimera 3, or Autobahn 3, a Voyager, you name it. We're going to go and find so this guy here, he's going to tell you to F off, but we're just going to ignore him, and we're going to go straight down to Ford Operating Base 411 there. They've nerfed the crap out of this. This used to be really good. You used to be able to get advanced spear wolves right out of the gate. Um, that's no longer the case. I think the highest you can get now it's something like refined. But it doesn't matter. Anyways, let's just get out of there and see what we can find. Okay, they're finding some aliens here. Looks like we're a bit late to the party there. Alright, let's just see what we've got in here. Celeste, nobody cares about. Nothing in there. Modified Grendel, some ammo. Check down here. Coachman, yeah, they've nerfed the absolute crap out of this. Holy moly. It's almost not even worth coming here anymore. Staggering and <laughs> refined lawgiver. Holy guacamole. This is absolute trash. What do we have in here? Um, so we got two urban eagles here. This one being better, so it does more damage against. So it's calibrated, that's normal. So the normal one can go away. We're gonna use the calibrated one there. Get some ammo here. Make sure we don't get busted stealing. Cool. What are we running here? 
that's just as trash. Okay, um, we unfortunately cannot unlock that. Nothing there at the moment. We got a chameleon, chameleon pack though, so it's a bit better than what we got. Yep. Okay. Alright, chameleon might come in handy. Okay, managed to steal that. Okay, keep, keep going, keep going. No, 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 no. Okay, matters not. Steal that. Still those. Uh, I think that's enough without risking getting busted here. Uh, what do we have? Ground crew pack. Okay, it doesn't seem like she can see us. Anything up here? Weapon rack. Nope. Alright. Well, I mean, we got something out of it. <clears throat> Not the greatest loot, but it's something. I was just a quick save here in case we get busted stealing. Chameleon does make it a little bit easier, I believe. Okay. Now, here's a problem here. This trash can of a ship is only going to get us so far so we need to start jumping all the way down to like I believe Mal it's next to Serpentis so Serpentis is here Mal is the highest we can go so we need to start making our way down anyway let's move might take us a couple of jumps, but we'll get there eventually. We're just going to keep an eye out for any ships that uh, Econo Hole. Bloody hell, this is absolute trash, this ship. All right, um, so from here, we want to go down to Olympus. We're gonna be like one of that one of those guys that trades a paper clip all the way up to a car, right? So <laughs> we might need to um, go up a few ships. Merchant, hostile activity. We want nothing to do with that. Straight to volley. Okay, let's see what we have here. We got too much here, that's the problem. Uh, we'll go down to Bolivar here. It's not the most exciting progress process, sorry, but it's very, very, very effective. Okay, uh, one last check. Anything here? Nope. That's just a planet. 
All right, so we need to get ourselves to Serpentis up there. Okay, Poromites. Okay. All right. This is a level thirty five system. Shipping crate. Okay, so now we are beginning to go to the higher TEC. Hyla, then Serpentis, then Mal, and then we'll hopefully find a the ship there. They'll help us jump to um, something like um, Huggins or anywhere else. Okay, what do we have here? What do we have here? What do we have here? Galbank Storm Rider. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, it's not a Storm Rider 3, but it's a Storm Rider and it will get us to where we need to be. So, what do we have here? Okay, guys, this is much better than what we have. So, I'm just going to light up this guy. If we do not stick on him, like a fly on poop, we'll come to regret that decision very, very sorely. Okay. Get those engines down, please. ASAP. Come on, a little bit more, just a little bit more. Almost there. Alright, so that's a Storm Rider down. Damn, I wish it was Storm Rider 3, but it's not. So that's an Eon. Um... We don't have much ammo for that, but we do have a lot of ammo for this. Mm. Okay, so that's an upgrade. Absolutely not an upgrade, but whatever. We're going to take it regardless. My Grendel, which is a little bit sucky, but hey, Vegas can't be choosers. That's just a dead end there. Alright, let's go hunting. Wait, what? What? I forgot that I'm using a crappy weapon. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum. Throwables. Frag grenade. Okay, some nice shots there. How the heck am I missing these? How am I missing these shots, guys? All elites just our luck. Man, it's not very accurate. I'm better off just going for the torso shots here as opposed to like going for the head. See what I mean? Like, it's trash. 15,000 bounty, they reckon. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, it is very bad for you, my friend. Okay. We'll have enough ammo to get rid of these guys. I would have loved the beer wolf, but um, unfortunately, that is just not the case. Wait, what? Jesus, I'm even missing point blank shots now. This is atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Okay. Um, is that at least an upgrade? It is. Looks awful though, but, but it's an upgrade. Alright. Um, what is our bounty? 650. Eh, whatever. It's a bounty I'm willing to pay 650 for an upgrade. Okay, undock. Let's see what we got ourselves here. Either way, this is just a stepping stone anyway. Okay. This is definitely a class C reactor, it has to be. Ship. Yep, class C, so. Got a Storm Rider right away. I'm um, happy with that. Shields are. whatever. I mean, Vegas can't be choosers here. 900 shields. Alright, so. It's got turrets, ballistics, and missiles. Cool. Got nothing to repair with, nor I need to. For now, um, let's just power up the grav drive and mark our next destination. Now, at least we should be able to, in theory, fly over to. Anyway, what's the jump on this? Twenty-six. That's fine. Repair this bad boy, and off we go. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, system of Hudgens. We are at Hudgens 5B. What we're gonna do here essentially is we're gonna find a nice little landing spot. We're just gonna land. Moons are nice and flat, so usually ships will be dropping. So, it's, ooh, that might be a bit too close for ships to drop there. Nonetheless. We shall try. Okay. I'm a quick save regardless. I exit the ship. Nope, nothing here, nothing is landing, so we might have to find another place. We'll go down here. Uh... Hmm. I feel like if there's a facility there, the chances of spawning a ship are much rarer. Let's... I thought I heard something. Nah. There we go. Perfect. That is perfect, however, the problem here is, the problem there is, I won't be able to quick save my game, so I might have to drop down there. And you want to quick save your game because you'll be safe scamming the ships. Uh, this looks like a good place.
whether it is or not though, time will tell, but for now. Alright, quick save, exit. No. Nah. It is no bueno place. Okay, back out. If you're wondering how I know if it's a good place or not, there should be a ship spawn straight away. Okay, hopefully better luck this time. Okay, let's see here. It's a nearby facility, which is not ideal. That's a negative, ladies and gentlemen. Back into space we go. Let's try this way. Let's see. I don't think this will work either, but... Nope. That's a dud as well. Very, very unfortunate so far. No, that's another dud. You gotta try and sort of evade those facilities. That's the key here. Um, all right. This looks like... Oh, no. We'll find out anyways in a second whether this worked or not. I don't think it did. It most definitely did not. Lol, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be absolutely kidding me. Really? Really, game? You're gonna tempt me like this? Guys, you are looking at, at the best ship in the game. It's either this or Storm Rider 3. It's entirely like. Now, this is gonna take every bit of. <sighs> YOLO. Let's, let's give it a go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go look for ships on the ground, but I suppose this works as well. <laughs> no 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 no! We're gonna oh ooh, oops, no no! Oh, we're gonna get done here. I kept tapping shift too fast, so the computer spasm. Now, if he gets away from us, this is GG because he's gonna melt me. Okay 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 now. Okay, now what we do is get those engines down. Get those engines down. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Looks like the game smiled upon me <laughs> after all. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That was that was insane luck there. You know what? They can give me. 500 billion dollar bounty. I, I don't care. I don't care. Get clapped. It's good that it scales them to my level. It 
So what are we, level 7 now? A uh, level 8, we just reached level 8 because we downed that ship and that gave us a lot of experience. That's crazy, man. Look at this! It's like, they just wrapped it up in a the ribbon, they're like, here you go, Dimpo. Here's something to show your viewers. I can't say no to free stuff. Thank you. Here we take it. Alright, I think there's one more. And uh, your boy just got yourself a new, um, a new ship. Okay. Oh, up, I think it's up top here. I think. Ah, oh, so what do we have here? Credits. Nothing spectacular there. Sturdy caliber spray truck a helmet. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got. <laughs> so I'll see. Oh, I cannot believe this just happened. This is cracked. Oh, this is absolutely cracked. Undock. This is gonna be worth like 590k, I think. At least. Or 580, 590. It will have like top notch reactor. Six. This is the most expensive ship I've seen. 656,000. What? How? Good shields. Uh, engines are meh. But whatever. Ooh, we'll stack some more there. Missiles are alright. Ballistics, okay. And we got some obliterators. I mean, what's what's there not to like about this? All right, I think next episode we're gonna put this into action. <laughs> but for now, <laughs> I think we'll call this video here. There you go, guys. We were level five when we left Jameson. We are now what are we level eight, and we got the best ship in the game. Knowledge is power, right? If you have the right knowledge, you can do marvelous things. As always, Dean Per here. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate your support, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Peace.